G'day everyone, Bliss O here from Old Mac Crew. Now I've just uh, finished in service in Old Mac and I went inside and had some lunch and I thought, oh well, while I've got it out here, got the bonnet open and it's all, you know, ready to rock and roll. I thought I might do a quick uh, rig rundown. Um, it'll be just real quick, it'll be sort of nothing flash. Uh, just to give you a bit of an idea what a bit of a budget build looks like and things you that may help you get just get you on the road a little bit quicker without having to spend all the big money on the big ticket items for your four-wheel drive. So we're, we're basically just tourers, and we're not big off-roaders and four-wheel drives. I can get off the beaten track and take some dirt tracks and take the van up some sort of wild roads, but nothing like those big hill climbs and thousand-dollar tracks and four-wheel drive action sort of style. I'm not into that sort of carrying on. So anyway, I'll just sort of give you a quick look while I've got it here. Um, and before it rains, it looks like it could, could rain a bit. Anyway, I'll get into it. So I'll just come around and grab this. Now, while I'm here in front of this car, I'll show you, I'll move my me, um, me drink down. I haven't even opened that yet, but I'll get into it. Um, yeah, TD42. Now, it's got the aftermarket turbo, dynamic, uh, DTS turbo system, sorry, the TD05 turbo. Still runs a 10 mil pump, pretty much just a stock engine. Reliable as, it's got enough power to do what we need to do. Pulls the van, no problem at all. Bit slow up hills, but as reliable as they come. Second battery system with a Rotronics. I think it's a 100 amp, uh, no, wait, I'll point it wrong thing. Rotronics 100 amp isolator, which works very well, does the job. Um, we've had no problem with it. Very simple, but basic setup, but it works for us. Front of the car, Iron Man bull bar. I've had this bull bar three or four years. Bought it new. Uh, you can tell it's been on there for a while. Look, it's, uh, I haven't even washed this car. This is the next thing after I've served, so I want to give it a wash tomorrow. But yeah, it's done the job. It's very, it's a very good bar. I've had no problems with it. Uh, we've got a Dominator X Kings winch bolted up in there. That's about four year old. It's never let us down. We've, you know, for a cheap or a budget winch, it's done us. Done its job, it's got us out of trouble, it's been reliable, it's worked every time I've needed it so far. Driving lights, just about done. They're the same, we've got them about the same time as the winch, and they still work with Gib River, give them a bit of a hide, so I'm going to update those, but they, yeah, they're just King's ones as well, and they, they've been reliable. AMFM Aerial, uh, GME two-way, I broke it off on the Gib River Road, I'll replace that one day. Uh, what else have we got here? We've got, uh, what do I run? I run... Nitto, Nitto Terra Grapplers, they're an all-terrain tyre, um, we've done 20,000 kilometres on this trip, um, and before that, probably, you know, it's done 25 or 30,000 k's, and they've still, still got a fair bit of grip on them, they're not down to the wear marks yet, I'm pretty happy with these tyres, I would definitely run them again, I would reckon, and I got them from Bob Jones on a buy three, get one free deal, so if I can get that again, I'll be, be very happy. Suspension, I run a two inch heavy duty. It's a uh, Lovell's uh, Springs with Petters shocks. Now probably, probably gonna get some new shocks. They've been on for a while. They're not leaking or anything, but I think it might be this time before we do our next big trip, I'll, um, I'll upgrade those. And uh, yeah, key things going. eBay snorkel, does the job. Uh, clear view mirrors, I just, I wanted some quality mirrors that I didn't have to keep replacing all the time. and. Something that done the job, but I really, even though for the price, and they're a bit pricey, and I know there's coppers out there, I wanted a quality mirror, it's gonna do the job, and I, and I really like these mirrors, I'm very, very happy with them. Uh, budget, King's awning, does the job perfectly, I don't use it much these days, when I first got it, uh, use it all the time. Now, I've, you know, maybe once or twice a year we get it out, we're around the beach or somewhere, otherwise, uh, yeah, it's four or five year old too, and it's still going, I'm pretty happy with that. In the rear, uh, same thing, I've got Lovell's um, two inch heavy duty springs, but to assist with towing, I put some um, airbags in. Probably the best investment I've come up with yet, I think, because I could have I could have upgraded the springs, but that would have just put more weight on the, sh and the spring towers and stuff. So I thought if I could put something there that'll take a bit of load off the springs and help out, well, that'd be great. So the airbags do just that. They, uh, they help level it up when I'm towing. I can adjust them to suit my needs. Um, and uh, it just works a treat. And they're a cheap, cheap mod if you want to um, help with towing. Uh, what else have we got? We've got the roof rack on top. Um, there is a solar panel in there. Not real happy with the solar panel. I'm going to replace it one day. Titan drawers are in the back. 
bang for buck draws. I couldn't go, you can't go past these things for money. That's what I sort of got a bit of gear left over from the trip. Yet to clean this out, take that out of the dirt. Tools, compressor, bits and pieces. So I've got some spare parts up the back of the drawer. Um, what else? We got the this is a recovery kit, also from Kings or Hercules brand. I did a little job the other day. I don't know if you I don't know if you had a look at my Facebook channel, but uh, my brother-in-law got uh, got his uh, semi stuck on out the front of his house the other day, and he couldn't get her out. So used the big old Mac and a, and a winch just to pull him out, and uh, worked a treat. So yeah, this gear. Not bad, you know, I've had it for a long time too and it's done the job, never had any trouble. Moving on, uh, what do we got a reverse camera, perfect for helping with the hooking up of the caravan, especially when I'm doing it by myself. Got a drop down table here, very good when you're doing those swag trips, weekend trips, even day trips. Um, nice and easy to clean, it's a bit dirty now, I haven't sort of, as I said, I haven't cleaned yet, that's tomorrow's job. Uh, but yeah, it's really handy on those day trips. Put your um, tea burner on or your or your um, jet ball and stuff, make a cup and make a sandwich and they're too easy. King's dirty gear bag. It's handy enough, I keep, always keep a bucket in here, you never know when you want a bucket for water and stuff, but it was just a bit of a pest this trip with the caravan all the time and hooking and hooking, so next time I'd probably look at a different option, maybe try to get it up on the roof. Uh, what else, you know? Uh, oh yeah, got me uh, shovel holder and me high lift jack holder up there. Uh, always leave them there they're just handy to have you know if i need them i've got them i don't have to worry about it because they just they live there i've got my max tracks up the front which i've got to take them off fit very handy spot for them uh what else i think that's about it if there's anything you want to know on the outside let me know because I'm, this is just a bit of a rush job um so i just want to get through it real quick before it rains and i've got a few things else to do this hour so i gotta get in on all right we'll move real quick in on the inside now um so this is the inside of the old girl Set of specs. First thing I'll point out to you is my uh, Dometic 11 litre fridge. It's not a not one of those thermoelectric warmer cool things. It's a proper fridge. Best mod I've done on the inside of these vehicles. Got rid of the console. Got a fridge. Keeps your cans cold all the time. Happy days. It still works as an armrest. And if, uh, if you know anything about the GUs, they do not come with freaking cup holders. Unless, and if they do, they're here in front of the co uh, console and they're useless. So the other reason we've got this fridge is for the cup holder. So it's perfect uh never go to dash buddies i think you call them they're handy for just a bits and pieces stick your phone in got me glasses if i need them jam them in there you know what i mean uh, just crap on the dash geez i've got to clean this thing out vic's got one on her side as well um in there puts their bits and pieces with lighters and stuff when we need a fire up the top here we got a navigator visor buddy just handy to have pens and extra lighters bits and pieces that you may need while you're traveling on the road that's sort of Vic, that sort of Vix thing, so um, very handy to have that, utilise that bit of space there. Uh, what else? Oh, this is my new stereo I got put in before the trip. And I needed to, I wanted the reverse camera, so I put in a new stereo. Now we can Bluetooth, I can see at the back when I'm reversing, and I can also use a hands-free with my phone, which is great. It's just, that's a real good next level um, upgrade for this vehicle because it's got nothing special, which is what I love this whole deal. It's just, Manual wind up window, she's got vinyl floors. That's about it. The, the two main options that everyone should have is power steering, aircon. The rest of it doesn't matter. Um, what else? We run the XRS Connect two way radio. Um, no real, nothing flash chair. They're just a real uh, reliable, they work great. No no problems, sort of two way. I just want stuff that works. You know? comes to going on the road long term you just want stuff to work and you know spend a bit of extra money on those little bit of things like things you need comms mirrors um suspension tires that sort of thing and you're gonna have no problem i just connect i just uh hooked it up here because my old two i was there so i didn't want to go mucking around brake controller nothing special there i'll show you how many k's this old girl's got if you'll light up there we go i don't know i hope you can see that 749 675k so a little bit early for me 10,000k but it'll be right you don't need to uh do it spot on but i like to um get them close or i don't like them to go over too much anyway the motor was rebuilt at uh, 660,000 that's when they've done the turbo and everything and it's just been super reliable uh what else we've got old vic's got a nebo light up here uh, that's about it. Like the King's King's seat covers, these have been great. These are the same as well. I got them the same time when I got the 
driver license. So if they're about four or five year old, like they, they do the job. They're a cheap cover, really good budget option if you just want to look after your seats. They've not ripped or anything. Lost their colour a bit, but yeah, they've done a the job. I'm certainly going to get a new pair of these one day when uh, time calls for it. Just put a pillow on the seat, make it make those long trips a bit more comfortable. Now I've also got these gauges here. These is uh, what have we got? Boost gauge, oil pressure, EGT. Now oil pressure, EG, uh, water temp oil pressure ejts and boost um i used to have these hooked up but they're really bright at night and they give me the willy so i've unconnected and disconnected them for now what i'd like to do because i've got these holes i'm gonna I'm gonna get a switch put in here so i can turn them off at my own leisure i don't want to be staring at them all the time i don't need them there all the time but it'd be just nice to have just in case i suspect something's going on i can just give them a quick flick and they're on so uh, any ideas about hooking these up let us know um you know switches you know, direct whatever hook up. I just want to be able to turn them on and off at a flick of a switch and make life easy that way and be able to keep an eye on things without having to stare at it 24 hours a day. Keep me winch gear here so it's, it's, it's out of reach. You know, it's right there if I need it, if we get ourselves in a sticky situation. That's it. That's all I can think of. As I said, I rushed a bit, but it's the thing you need to know, we want to know, you know, this is just a budget uh, budget truck on a just on a I'm just buying the stuff on the need, you know. I don't want to put money in the crap you don't need just to make it look pretty. I want it to be practical and do the job, and I'm pretty happy with the way it's set up. One of the future upgrades, while I'm thinking of it, probably a three-inch exhaust. I do not want to straight through. I don't want it loud. I just want it to breathe a little bit better. Might pick up a few extra horses. You never know for luck. And if it comes down to it and I find the one for the right price, I'll get a rear bar. But as I said, not needed. One of those things that I'd like to have, but I don't need to have. The truck works fine just the way it is. All right. I'll leave it at that. Um, so then, as I said, 300 times already. Any questions, hit us up down below. Get on our Facebook page. I'm a crew. Um, give us a few of your ideas and things. If you've got a similar truck, what would you would do if you're doing a big lap of Australia? And if you like what we're doing here, like and subscribe. And I'll talk to you kids later.